Hello friends, welcome. Welcome to this presentation from Rising Pearl. I'm your host, Apke Dost Roy. Now friends, we are starting a brand new series, Series 5, which is topic is an introduction to Euclid's geometry. So, I'm thinking, friends, what kind of topic is this? Uh, it's an introduction to uh, a person, someone's geometry. Uh, why is it so important? What is special about this person? Now, friends, so here we will start out with a brief history as our first webisode on this particular series. Now, this series will be a little bit different, friends, from the last four series in the sense that here we will talk a little bit about history of geometry. Now, those to ye bath have when you know civilizations around the world were starting to form. Now we are talking about several hundred thousands and thousands of years ago. So not today's definitely as uh, zamana of Facebook, Twitter, and whatnot. So manage at that time. So for example, people in Egypt. Now they used to all, you know uh, live by the uh, by the banks of River Nile, and they used to have a problem. Jab, the river Nile will always uh, very often flood its uh, banks. So, for example, Man Lijie, and those I am not definitely, you know, the best of the artist here. So, Man Lijie, this is a piece of land, and then Yahape, basically, um, you know, the, 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 the land is divided in this fashion, right? So, if this is person A's uh, area, this is person B, C, D, E, F. So these are different people who own these lands, and Manlija, you have River Nile uh, flowing right, you know, uh, like this. So kya hua karta tha dosto un zamane mein that the river will very often flood its banks, matlab ke it will, uh, it will, you know, go into the land and it will wash out all the boundaries. So Egyptians then, unko they had to somehow figure out ki kiski kitni area hai, right? Kiski kitni zameen ki area hai, and then they had to figure out how to redraw that. Then also, because this was a problem that used to happen very often, they had to find out some simple structures that they can build that will hopefully uh, minimize the impact of flooding. So, those are we are seeing that basically, so civilizations such as Egyptian, they were very focused on the practical aspects. Practical aspects or practical applications of geometry as we know it today. Right? Then those two around the world, there were other civilizations such as Greece, uh, Greek civilizations who were very much focused on actually reasoning. Reasoning behind these simple, simple geometrical uh, construction things, etc. Ki jab kabhi, uh, you do certain things, why they are true or why certain things are false. So, so, so these, uh, you know, civilizations, they were more focused on really developing this geometry, this branch of mathematics more in a systematic fashion. And those, so, so th these uh, together, all the entire work which was done, you know, um, on the practical applied geometry and the systematic deduction, you know, logically, uh, you know, to evaluate this as a science, these together combined is what we know today as geometry. Now, even actually, if you look at the word geometry, friends, ye jo word hai, now, geo, this means, these are two Greek words. So, geo ka matlab hai earth. And ye jo word hai metri, it, it actually, it has come from a Greek word, which is metrian, or which actually means to measure. So, aap dekh rahe ho, dosto, how even the word geometry means to measure earth which is basically to say to measure land, right? So this is how uh, the word geometry actually uh, what it means and, and how also all these different uh, civilizations across the world contributed together to what we call today as geometry. Now those are Pucho, okay, so where is actually Euclid, uh, you know, which is, actually, which is the main, uh, you know, person in our discussion today, in the series today. Now, we will come to there in just a moment, friends. Now, the Greek uh, mathematicians, the, so they wanted to systematically develop, uh, you know, uh, geometry, right? So actually, as a matter of fact, a famous Greek mathematician called Thales, Thales was actually uh, credited with coming up with the first proof. Because, like we are discussing, uh, now, these civilizations, they really wanted to emphasize on the truth of the, the things that they see. 
So Thales actually came up with the first proof and friends it was about a um, it was about a circle mein agar aap yahan pe ek maan lijiye center hai and if you draw a diameter which basically is a a straight line connecting two sides of a, a you know a circle passing through the center that the diameter divides the circle into two equal parts so thales was the first person who actually proved this why this is true similarly dosto then uh, followers of thales uh, one of the uh, main important uh, followers so very prominent followers jise hum jante hain um, he was pythagoras so pythagoras actually uh, we know that pythagoras came up with his uh, theorem which is which is called as pythagoras theorem right jahan pe we if you take a right angle triangle agar aap koi bhi right angle triangle draw karte ho this is 90 degrees and if this is hypotenuse right and ye hai aapki height ye hai aapki base of this triangle so agar let us just quickly draw this then uh, pythagoras actually said that a uh, koi bhi right angle triangle ho then basically the hypotenuse square jo hoti hai that is equal to sum of the other two sides so in this case height square plus base square and he said this is true for all right angle triangles that you can think of so now friends while all of these things were happening in the world now euclid he was a great mathematician himself what he did was unhone he started collecting all of this information which was known at that time and then then what he did was that he euclid actually friends we call him father of geometry and abhi malum chalega why it is the case so he collected all the known work at that time he organized the work in his famous treatise called elements so at that time friends there was aap agar aap sochoge us zamane mein clearly there was the communication among you know in the whole world was not at, at as advanced at all right so there was no formal documentation of anything which was happening at that time so euclid ne kya kiya he sat down and he collected all the known information at that time unhe he wrote it in a treatise treatise ka matlab dosto write up a essay and then unhe he named it elements he divided elements into 13 chapters each chapter ko he called them he called them a book right now as he was writing this unhe bahut sari cheeze ko he had to define and then he had to make a lot of assumptions too right now so now what happened friends was that as he continued to uh, write this treatise he he realized that jo things that he is defining uh so so those are things he is explaining what they are but then ye jo assumptions hai he realized that these assumptions basically are uni they are obvious universal truths so because of that he thought ki jo jo hamari assumptions hain unhe hum accept kar sakte hain ki these are always going to be true and unhe we don't have to define them right so these assumptions ko he categorized them into two groups one he called them axioms and second he called them postulates so axioms dosto ho gayi wo assumptions which were associated with mathematics in general they were not specifically related to geometry and postulates ho gayi dosto those assumptions which were specific to geometry now euclid ko he had to do this because as he is writing this uh, this this what is now the famous elements so jahan pe basically dosto he is explaining everything so as he is defining things he is making assumptions he noticed ki lot of these assumptions jise he thought they were universal truth isliye unhe define karne ise unhe prove karne ki zarurat nahi hai now he grouped them into two groups axioms and postulates and dosto what happened was after euclid stated axioms and postulates he used them to prove more results so he actually used that inf those information to prove more and more results and then jo results abhi maan lijiye unhe mili hai using those results he proved even more results using deductive reasoning and and the statements that were proved unhe 
he called propositions or today we call them theorems. And those so now you will realize actually he deduced more than 465 propositions or theorems for the first time. So not only Euclid, he started compiling all of the known work at that time. Then after he actually had completed this, he then started expanding on Abhi what was available to him. And then he basically created four, more than 465 theorems or, or statements which, which basically were true. And he proved them why they were true. So those ये जो उनकी famous जो essay थी और the the treatise that we are calling it um, so called elements right ये जो है friends this is really the foundation of geometry as we know it आज जब हम बात करते हैं geometry की we talk about different terms right जैसे कि friends we start about you know starting from मान लीजिए Point क्या है, line क्या है, plane क्या है, plane surface क्या है, two dimension क्या है, three dimension क्या है, then circles, triangles, rectangles, square, quadrilaterals, parallelograms, etc. etc. Geometry as we know it, दोस्तों, this actually it almost आप कह सकते हो it originated from from Euclid's this publication called Elements, and because of that reason, friends, Euclid is known as father of geometry. So, ये जो आज हमारी series five जिसे हमने start की है friends, what आप notice करोगे is clearly there is no way we are going to talk about all of the 465 things that he did. But हम शुरुआत करेंगे with some of the important assumptions, axioms, and then we will look at some of the important postulates. And आप देखोगे दोस्तों as we move on to the next few series. Um, which we will, you know, continue to discuss and and expand, you know, on geometrical concepts, uh, lines, angles, triangles, etc. आप देखोगे कि how we will talk about, you know, more and more axioms and more and more postulates. So friends, this was our first episode. Hopefully, you are following us along. अगले episode में फिर मिलेंगे तब तक के लिए शुक्रिया, धन्यवाद.